Martina the Beautiful Cockroach, a Cuban folktale retold by Carmen Aguirre Didi, illustrated by Michael Austin. Narrated by Michelle Oaxaca. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha was a beautiful cockroach. She lived in a cozy street lamp in Old Havana with her big, lovable family. Now that Martina was 21 days old, she was ready to give her leg in marriage. The Cucaracha household was crawling with excitement. Every señora in the family had something to offer. Tia Cuca gave her un peineta, a seashell comb. Mama gave her a mantilla, a lace shawl. But Abuela, her Cuban grandmother, gave her un consejo increíble, some shocking advice. You want me to do what? Martina gasped. You are a beautiful cockroach, said Abuela. Finding husbands to choose from will be easy. Picking the right one could be tricky. But, 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 stammered Martina. How will spilling coffee on my suitor's shoes help me find a good husband? Her grandmother smiled. It will make him angry. Then you'll know how he will speak to you when he loses his temper. Trust me, Martina, the coffee test never fails. Martina wasn't so sure. Meanwhile, Papa sent El Perico, the parrot, to spread the word. Soon, all of Havana, from the busy sidewalks of El Parro to El Moro Castle, was abuzz with the news. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, was ready to choose a husband. As was the custom, Martina would greet her suitors from the balcony under her family's many watchful eyes. Daintily, she sat down and crossed her legs, and crossed her legs, and crossed her legs. She didn't have to wait long. Don Gallo, the rooster, strutted up first. Martina tried not to stare at his splendid shoes. Keeping one eye on his reflection, Don Gallo greeted her with a sweeping bow. Calambre! You really are a beautiful cockroach. I will look even more fabulous with you on my wing. With that, he leaned forward and croned, Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina hesitated only for an instant. Coffee, senor? Right on cue, Abuela appeared. With a quick glance at her grandmother, Martina nervously splattered coffee onto the rooster's spotless shoes. Oh my, she said with a mock of display. I'm all feelers today. Kick, 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 the rooster was furious. Clumsy cockroach, I will teach you better manners when you are my wife. Martina was stunned. The coffee test had worked. A most humble offer, senor, she said coolly. But I cannot accept. You are much too cocky for me. Don Cerro, el pig, Hooked up next, his smell curled the little hairs on Martina's legs. What an imaginable scent, Martina wheezed. Is that some new pig cologne? Oh no, senorita, it's the sweet aroma of my pig stein. Rotten eggs, turnip peels, stinky cheese. Don Cerro licked his chops and sang, Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina had already left in search of coffee. She wasted no time with the pig. Goink, goink, squealed Don Cerro as he dabbed at the coffee on his shoes. What a tragedy for my poor loafers, he said in a quiet ham. Thought Martina, calm yourself, senor, I'll clean them for you. I'll say you will, she snorted. When you are my wife, there'll be no end to you cleaning after me. Martina rolled her eyes in disbelief. A most charming offer, senor, she said drilly. But I must decline. You are much too boorish for me. The coffee test had saved her from yet another unsuitable suitor. The pig was scarcely out of sight when Don Largatijo, the lizard, crept up the railing. His oily fingers brushed the little cockroach's lovely mantilla. You shouldn't sneak up on a lady like that. I don't sneak. I creep, he said, circling Martina. For some reason, this fellow really bugged her.
I've had enough of creeps for one day, she said. Adios? But I need you. Wait! The lizard fell on one scaly knee and wobbled. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha. Beautiful muchacha. Won't you be my wife? Martina sighed. Let me see if there's any coffee left. This time, she wasn't taking any chances. Martina returned with two cups for the lizard. He spat. Don Largotijo was livid. He changed color three times before he finally found his true one. And to think, he hissed, I was going to eat, marry you. Martina stared at the lizard. You could have heard a breadcrumb drop. Food for thought, senor, Martina said icily. But I must refuse. You are too cold-blooded for me. When her grandmother returned to collect the day's coffee cup, Martina was still fuming. I'm going inside, abuela. So soon? See, si, I'm afraid of who I might meet next. Abuela drew a Martina to the railing and pointed to the garden below. What about him? Martina looked down at the tiny brown mouse, and her cockroach heart began to beat faster. Tick 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 tan. Oh, abuela, he's adorable. Where has he been? Right here all along. What do I do? Go talk to him and just be yourself. Martina handed Abuela her peineta and mantilla, then scurried down to the garden. The mouse was waiting. Tika tikitan. Hola. Hello. His voice was like warm honey. My name is Perez. Hola, she whispered shyly. I'm Martina. The beautiful cockroach. He finished for her. You think I'm beautiful? The little mouse turned pink under his fur. Well, my eyes are rather weak, but I have excellent ears. I know you are strong and good, Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha. Then he squinted sweetly. Who cares if you are beautiful? Tiki 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 tan! Martina! Don't forget the coffee! No, thought Martina. No coffee for Perez. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha. See, abuela? Martina knew better than to argue with her Cuban grandmother. With a heavy heart, she reached for the cup of coffee. But Perez got there first, quick as a mouse. He splashed Café Cubano onto Martina's shoes. Now the coffee was on the other foot. Martina was too delighted to be angry. At last, she found her perfect match. But she had to ask, how did you know about the coffee test? Perez grinned. Well, mi amor, my love, I too have a Cuban grandmother. <laughs>